Hello and welcome, my screen name is Cobra Muffin, and this is going to be a submission video for Hyperlight Drifter, New Game Plus, No Major Glitches. Um, so you might ask, what's the difference between New Game and New Game Plus? Well, in New Game Plus, we only have a max health of 2 instead of 5, but we start with every single unlockable, purchasable ability for the sword and the dash. So uh, things right from the get-go are a little bit quicker, and then we also get to skip the tutorial. But that being said, this is No Major Glitches, um, and the leaderboards are split between the glitched categories and No Major Glitches. However, in the glitched categories with the out-of-bounds movement, um, controllers have a way of getting out of bounds that keyboard and mouse players do not have. Literally, there's a bindable function that keyboard and mouse players cannot use, and this ends up costing uh, K&M players three to four minutes when compared to controller. So no major glitches is usually the most popular category for this reason, and it's also the most competitive. But that being said, um, so with New Game Plus, um, we are going to get right into it really, really quickly. Awesome. <laughs> So as I mentioned, there's no tutorial section, so we're going to just end up right in the room. Boop, there I am, in bed. Take a nap. Awesome. So the main goal of the game is to go around and collect four purple modules in each location and also activate a pylon. And so that's really the goal when we're going through and considering the run and the route. Um, but also we need to pick up the shotgun from East because it's going to deal a ton of damage. Because right now we have a pistol, uh, which is a really great attack device. Um, but it's not going to be nearly as useful as the shotgun for us. Cool. And so that's going to cause a really cool route difference, which we'll get up. But up here is a skip I'm going to go for. It. Nice, I got good RG. But I missed it! Uh, uh, I'm going to bring him over and then try it again. All right, I got it. <laughs> so that there, um, that is called arena skip. And I just barely messed up my angle. Um, and that saves about a second and a half if you get it first try. Um, but I actually ended up missing it. Nice, and I got a cough cutscene skip there. Uh, so a cut. So there are certain little cutscene triggers uh, sprinkled throughout the run uh, where you end up coughing, and that causes you to have to wait through them. Awesome. Up here is just a um, like a section, and I'm trying to dash in really specific spots in order to uh, get faster dismounts from the ledges. But here I'm just playing it also really safe. Because, uh, once again, I only have a max health of two. And so, like, those wolves, for instance, can take away half my life. They attack me. That's right. That's half my life right there. Okay, so here... Oh, I just bonked. Okay, so right now I have Chain Dash. And so Chain Dash is an advanced form of movement that the game introduces. And I'm sure there are, like, pandering to speedrunners with this. Because it's a really cool mechanic. Basically, after I activate Dash the first time... If I reactivate it at really specific times, I can end up dashing a little bit quicker. Miss that timing window and you end up dashing slower and you get locked and you have to wait for a cooldown before you can chain dash again. Um, so it's very, very difficult to actually move consistently through the run uh, with chain dash. But that being said, you'll notice that I'm... Uh, chain dashing in groupings of two and three. Um, this is intentional because the first dash of a chain dash sequence does not cost stamina. All right, so here's a really spooky arena because all these guys end up one hit killing me. And then I have to come over here in order to get grab um, a key. So there I accidentally collected a bit because of muscle memory. <laughs> and this key is going to be useful and it's going to be access, get me access to a purple module uh, later in the run. But that was pretty good. Like, literally, um, these guys will one-hit KO me. Alright, awesome. So, upcoming here, I'm just going to be dashing around all these guys. I'm going to be grabbing a safety head med kit. Um, because we actually ended up not having that uh, access to med kits from the introduction. So, these squares that guy is summoning is also a one-hit KO. Each of those birds end up only dealing one damage, but that's okay. Um, it still can be really spooky. So here's an extra ability that I unlocked uh, from just playing uh, New Game Plus, uh, which is a Charged Sword Slash. So at the expenditure of stamina, I'm able uh, to get through there really, really fast. And so we're up in north now, post the waypoint. So we activated that waypoint because we're going to be teleporting back to that many times throughout the run. Um, but over here is going to be one module we're going to collect. And then we're actually not going to be teleporting back to the North Waypoint. We're teleporting back to town. And the reason for this is actually because 
um, we are going to be grabbing the shotgun a little bit earlier. We have chain dash, so we don't need to collect the bits in order to get through. So that's a really scary section. If I got shot by those rifle troopers, as you imagine, um, they can end up um, hitting me and then knocking me down, and that ends up causing me to fall to my death. But here we go, we're gonna collect this module, and during this module, I can actually still interact with my map, and so I can stack the teleport uh, cutscene with this cutscene of collecting the module here. So boom, there I am at the end of that animation, and that allows me to teleport back out really, really fast. Nice. So that was a really uh, good first segment. I really only missed um, arena skip, and that's fine, that's fine. That being said, um, I mentioned that I'm dashing in groupings of two, because uh, the first one does not actually cost any stamina. Uh, but also, if I dash in groupings of three or more, um, then I can go a little bit faster. So you might see me just pop out a single grouping of three or two groupings as I progress through. And that's just because I want my stamina bar to be as low as possible as I go through into certain sections. Like here, during this cutscene, my stamina bar is actually regenerating. Nice. And then boom, right? I just barely ran out of stamina there right before getting to this elevator, which voila, is going to regenerate my stamina by quite a lot as I'm stuck on that elevator waiting. But here we go, here's a hard one. Nice, I got it. Okay, sick. So there, um, when you dash in groupings of four or more, um, at the end of that dash, you end up doing a slide at the end of it. However, if I dash into something like a cutscene or I take damage, um, or I fall off or something, that ends up canceling out that slide animation. And that allows me to not have to uh, wait for that to pass. But this has been really good so far. I don't think I've, I've taken any damage yet, uh, which is really, really nice. Cool. Upcoming here is going to be a nice uh, bit of a forward chain. This is going to be a longer chain. Because uh, they're dashing up against that ledge is going to reset my dash um, to its first, uh, first one. And when that happens, um, you end up not procking the slide and you end up uh, being able to uh, dash through there a little bit quicker. Um, so it's nice in like certain areas where we can reset our dash chain back to the first dash um, to be able to do these full, full chains and spend lots and lots of stamina. But like there, I ran out of all my stamina in order to be able to just recharge it on that floor. Because of course, instead of waiting for the cooldown, um, really just going through that is going to be at the end of the day a little bit quicker. Oh, oh, okay, I almost just took a death there. Alright, nice. Okay. Uh, so those little guys, when they explode, they actually end up dealing two damage. Alright, so here's a really scary movement section. So I'm going to focus. Ooh, that shot almost hit me. Nice, and I got through there. Woo, thank goodness. Yeah, so because I cannot go out of bounds there through that pink door, I end up having to do crazy movement like that. But this has just been going so well so far. But don't worry, there's still going to be lots of places that could end up uh, inherently causing me to take a big death and lose a good chunk of time. <laughs> awesome. Alright, so upcoming here is going to be a nice little arena where I'm going to be just knowing exactly where enemies are going to spawn and when they spawn. And so because of that, I can meet them and then att start attacking them right as they're forming, right? Lining up those two pistol shots to arrive at him as his body forms. And so if I had missed those, that pistol shot would have just traveled through him. And nice, I was able to buffer my dash there through the uh, end cutscene. Cool. I'm, I'm doing so well, man. I have all my med kits. I've got all my health and my ammo is looking good as well. So I'm going to attack this guy for a little bit more ammo. And then shoot that guy. Alright, this is a really scary section because if I take any damage once again, max health of two. Nice! And I'm able to get through there without taking any hits whatsoever. One hit from those guys could have caused me to fall back into the water. And that would have caused me to die and had to do this entire room over again. I actually would have spawned outside the room. So I would have had to watch the room open. Nice, getting through there without taking a hit is really, really important. Like, all of this movement I'm just making look super, super easy, but there is a reason why there are a lot fewer submissions for New Game Plus on the leaderboard than New Game. Max health of two and starting with chain dashes makes the game actually, like, a higher skill cap from the get-go. So, very, I'm very enthused that I've been 
doing this well so far. In reality, during the marathon, it's probably going to be, like, a lot of spaghetti and a lot of really funny deaths. But yeah, there we go. Um, moving on with the story. This is probably going to be, like, a really great spot with uh, donations and the like, because I'm just going to be uh, showing off, like, chain dashing, and there's not too, too much to explain in the run. Yeah, there we go. Just three module door. Opening another one. Right. Dashing up here. Two frogarinos. Hey guys. Yeah. So still more donations, still more donations. Here I'm showing off the chain dash sequence while this is going on. Oh yeah, so uh, they're actually proc a special ability a little bit earlier on. So I uh, ended up running really low on stamina. So I'm going to take this a little bit slower to get some stamina back. Nice. That's a pretty good arena. That's pretty good. Alright, so probably like about at that arena where I would start talking about the thing again. Talk about this big game. Awesome. Yeah, so upcoming here is actually going to be like a really scary uh, bit of movement. Oh, I just barely missed it. Um, so there, I when you uh, dash in groupings of three or more, um, and you run into a wall or something, that actually ends up causing you uh, to bonk, and you get stunned for 1.5 seconds. So with chain dash, right, once again, it's like, first of all, it's really difficult to angle a lot of these all over the place, but also it's very easy to take a small slip up barely miss your dash angle, and guess what? Oh, I ran out of stamina. Um, you're going to end up bonking and losing a second and a half, so all these tens of seconds I'm saving by doing these longer chains, um, even though they add up... Oh man, I missed that uh, cutscene trigger skip. That's okay. Even though they add up, one small mistake, and I end up losing all of that time from doing off of So here on this boss, um, it's really nice. Uh, this is the first boss of the entire run, and it's actually going to be the easiest, right? So there I was able to just stand in a single spot, and even though all of its attacks end up dealing two damage each, I was able to uh, action lock it into doing the same attack, uh, which I was able to stay out of range of, but nice. So there, uh, we're going to be finishing off these boss and then heading back to north. But first, um, the reason why we did this is to get access to this next weapon, which we collect after defeating the boss, which is going to be the shotgun. The shotgun's a really powerful weapon. It's going to end up doing five damage per shot with a cooldown um, after firing the weapon. There it is. And this is like super, super crucial for the speed run, right? Uh, because, as you can imagine, those bosses with the high health pools, um, it's important that we end up uh, trying to take them out as quickly as possible. And there we go, collecting my fourth module, and then teleporting back out before a cutscene uh, can end up triggering. Nice. Nicely done. And here we are, we're back in north. Um, so in north we've already collected two modules, so all that's left is to collect the third module up here. Um, before progressing to the three module door, that gets us access to the boss in the area. Nice. Oh boy. So upcoming here also, there's going to be some really scary arenas that end up having a bunch of enemies uh, that can all one-shot me. And so that can also be a really big source of tension in the run. So we'll see exactly how well I do. Oh, excuse me. Cool. Anyway, so like upcoming here would be another nice uh, part for donations. I could just mention I'm going to be traveling back to north now. Um, and then boom, donations, donations, donations. Oh, yes. So right now, they're probably still reading donations. That's nice, because that actually allows me to uh, focus on the movement and not taking a death there. Yeah. Anyway, so upcoming here is going to be a fight um, where the shotguns can end up saving me a bit of time. So there I took one damage, and so I'm actually just going to back out. I'm going to play it safe, and I'm going to heal. And so there, I ended up using something known as Phantom Slash, uh, which is another special sword type ability. And that ends up causing a lot of the AIs to get super duper confused. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I could have done that a lot faster, but I'm really glad I ended up playing that safe. And so here, um, I, that was the fourth module of North. However, I opted to end up playing that um, a little bit safer and end up quitting out and reloading. Because right after you you finish collecting the module, in that small little cutscene place, um, if 
you do not quit and reload out, uh, you end up having to watch your cutscene. But here is North Boss. So here I'm going to wait a little bit to trigger that save icon, just in case I take a death here. I'm going to focus really hard. Oh yeah! Oh man! So there I tried for an advanced stride to get through the boss and confuse it, but I just barely missed it. Alright, let's try again. All these things are one-hit kills, man. Alright, here we go. Okay. Whoa! Oh my god! Alright, playing it safe. Yes, alright, I got it! Oh my god! <laughs> Uh, so there, each one of those purple tiles was also a one-hit KO, so it just barely was able to dash out in time. Oh my goodness. Wow. Alright, getting getting North Boss second try, I am I am super happy with that. Alright, I'll take it, man. I'll take it. <laughs> oh man. I played that last little bit so safe with the four birds coming in, because they can end up like stun locking you with attacks and then your iframes come off, but you're still, like, stunned in that animation, and so they can just one-shot you. Oh my goodness. All right. Awesome. But we made it out of north. Thank goodness. That's probably the scariest part of the run there for me. Oh, wow. Oh, no! I fell off. All right. All right, yellow. I'm not going to heal here. Yeah, so there's the save icon, so if I fall off here, I'll just take a death. I did not. Hooray. And we're on the elevator, nice. <laughs> Here we go, so we're in West now. Uh, West is going to be a huge place for a bunch of donations. Because uh, A, I'm going to be coming off from the adrenaline of North Boss. And then also B, uh, I'm just going to be like nice and relaxed and like a lot of the movements just really, really smooth. Um, there's very few places in, in uh, West that can actually end up killing me and hindering me. Awesome. So even though I'm on one health right now, right, I can just, like, end up just dashing through here. But also the stamina management in West is actually really fascinating. Like, this section here, this movement is actually um, really tight and difficult. And so when I dash at odd angles, that's actually very much intentional by me. Alright. So here I'm going to play it a little safe, get a little extra stamina back. Uh, these dogs will one-hit kill me because I'm only on one health. Oh no! Alright. And did I get it? Yes, alright! Woo! That dog was not able to catch up to me in time. Thank goodness. But uh, upcoming here, uh, we're going to be doing a really cool arena skip as I uh, dash over here to grab a med kit and skip a cough cutscene. Uh, so by standing in a really specific spot, I'm going to be able to get access to a transition zone. Nicely done. Unfortunately, losing a little bit of stamina there. Uh, that's okay, I should still be okay. Um, yep. And then upcoming here is going to be the waypoint now that I was able to get past that arena by walking into a really tight spot. And boom. So a really cool aspect too is the concept of ammo management. Every time I fire my gun, it takes that pink ammo away. Um, but as I do another arena skip by walking into a really specific part, um, I'm able to get through there really fast. But when I attack destructible objects like that, it gets me a tiny bit of ammo back. And then every single attack on certain types of enemies ends up getting me one pistol shot back. But the shotgun requires a lot more ammo to fire than the pistol. So a lot of boss fights and stuff come back to uh, a balance of being able to get um, that ammo back. Um, but then also trying to kill the boss as quickly as possible. Yep. Boom. But yeah, so here I'm flanking with the pistol in order to de destroy these crystals, and then here's the tight jump. I just barely missed it, but that's okay. That en ends up not causing me to uh, lose any health from a fall or something like that. Just causes me to have to go around a little bit of a longer way. And boom, there's our second module in West. Two down, two to go. <laughs> All right. Cool. So coming here is a really cool routing difference that is uh, particular to no major glitches. Uh, we're actually picking up a little bit of a different module um, than we would in one of the glitch categories. But there we go, I'm just being very careful to kill off those dogs, because uh, on the return trip, that's right, they're still there, and they can end up killing you. <laughs> oh yeah, nice, and dashing through those crystals, a little bit of like semi-blind movement, nicely done. 
Cool. And here's the third module that we'll pick up instead. Because uh, we can't do out of bound stuff and get to like certain modules a little bit faster. Um, actually going for this module saves about 10 seconds. So major shout out to Isex, um, a runner who has uh, done a really great job in this game previously. Oh, yes. Okay. So coming through here now, uh, we're going to be progressing to the three module door uh, before going up against West Boss. And so if North Boss was the scariest part of the run, West Boss is a very, very close uh, second. Because uh, West Boss deals uh, these one damage attacks, but also it has the capability of doing these two damage attacks at the end of its attack chain. Uh, so we'll see that. But upcoming here is also a really difficult movement section. I'm going to go for it. Nice, and I got it. So that dash chain right there is probably some of the most difficult movement in the game. Um, if I misstep there, um, those spikes that were forming on the ground end up dealing two damage each. So that's right, it's a one-hit KO, but just nailing that out of the park is so hard. Cool. Um, but probably upcoming here, I would just mention that uh, this is just going to be some movement. I'm just going to be doing more chain dash stuff as I arrive towards West Boss. So there is time for about one to two donations here. Oh no! Uh oh! Okay. Ooh. So they're um, they're reading donations, but I that that almost was a was a death on my part. So I'm really glad I didn't die there. Oh boy. Great. Thank you so much. So here I'm going to end up trying to do a manipulation. I uh, that should be good. It was not. All right. Well, here we go. Okay. There we go, and we got him. Okay, nicely done. <laughs> so that was a little monk ass. So there what I was trying to do was dash close enough to one of these crystals, and if I had gotten that, the boss would have ended up trying to go and free uh, some of his fellow compatriots. Uh, but because I messed that up, I actually had to end up fighting the boss fight casually. But I'm just like, I, I'm super comfortable with it. The shotgun planks are too bad. And as long as I play it safe like I did there, I won't take a death from the boss. And um, and because dying is the biggest time loss in one of these speedruns, going for some safer strats like that, especially in a marathon setting, is definitely a good call. But upcoming here, this is another really scary section. I can absolutely take an unintentional death, and it's a very costly one as well. Oh my god! Alright. Oh my god. <laughs> so there I messed up my manipulation of the holes, and because of that, they almost ended up killing me because they get like really spread out and then being able to decide which ones have one health, which have two, um, and then trying to react accordingly. But nice, we made it out of West. One more section to go and it is easily the scariest movement section in the entire game. And then only being on two health in this makes it even more scary. Oops, taking a little bit of a bonk there, that's okay. Nice, and nailing that full uh, chain dash there is so, so good. And so here I'm just burning all my stamina because there is going to be a portion where I'm going to end up being able to regenerate all of that. And I'm making like a lot of these chain dash sequences look really easy and free, um, but really um, they are not easy whatsoever. So I'm just like, I'm, I'm so elated that I'm playing this well. This might actually end up being a world record, <laughs> like for the submission video. This is ridiculous. Only dying on North Boss so far. But here we go. So here's one of the scary sections. Um, a bunch of guys are going to end up spawning, but if I take one hit, um, it ends up uh, canceling out my ability to activate this. But I was able to get through. Oh, taking a small fall there. Um, I'm not out of the park yet. Uh, okay, nice. I made it. So I'm going to heal here because this arena is also super scary. I'm going to try and kill off enemies in a certain list. Okay, so there I took one hit. Oh, I took two hits! Oh, I took a death! Okay, this isn't going to send me too, too far behind. Uh, but that was so close to actually getting it. Nice, and I have full health. Okay, here we go. Let's focus. I can do this. Come on, man. Alright, one hit. Alright, nice. Alright, we got through. Okay, the other wave spawned, though, so I'm going to have to come back up here and kill some slimes. That's a little bit of a time loss, but... I have not taken a death, and my health is at full, so let's keep going. Each of these crushers is instant death. Alright. And if I take a death here, it's I have to do that entire arena over again. But nice, I made it through. I'm going to do some slow dashes there to get some stamina back. And then pistol plinking these guys to deal 2 damage each, because uh, they have a max health of 4. 
And nice, I was able to get through. Oh, all right. Oh, okay, I made it. Oh my goodness. So it's only taking one death there. It's just such a relief. But here we go. Uh, this boss fight actually ends up just coming down to just nailing some shotgun flames and uh, getting off one attack in order to get a bunch of ammo back. And so that was a really good boss fight. That was good. That was so clean. That was so clean. And I fully expect myself to be able to do that. There we go. We're going to collect the first module, and this is going to get us access um, to sort of the final air, the final areas of South a little bit quicker. And then after we defeat Archer, we'll get the pylon and pick up the last module. But this is a great time for donations, if you've got some. Nice. Woo! All right. So they're reading donations right now, but I made it. I made it through that section. I'm so relieved. That section can be super, super scary. And especially in a marathon setting, I'm going to be like freaking out if I end up getting that. Okay, I took damage there, so I'll just safety heal before this arena. Oh, okay! And that's why a little bit of lag that caused me to uh, take another hit there. Um, Alright. Great, thank you so much. So we're back from donations. So upcoming here is going to be an enemy that can actually one-shot me, but I'm just like very comfortable getting past him. And unfortunately there I ended up having to safety heal in a spot I didn't want to, so I'm a little bit low on medkits. Uh, but that's okay. There's going to be some safety health that I can actually just pick up on my way and it doesn't cost too, too much time to collect. Just a 1.5 for collecting the medkit, and then maybe your second or two for having to go out of my way. All right, nice. So we got past that section. And then, so here's one of the safety health kits I can collect. Oh, so I'm just gonna dodge those shots there. And boom, nice, we got through there. So that, uh, we're gonna be doing a sequence break up here. So if I take any deaths, it's gonna send me all the way back to that monster. But there we go, getting some ammo back from that dirt by sword slashing him. And then here's a sequence break. There's a little platform around that lip. And so here's the other safety health kit. Nice. Back to full health kits. That's like so, so nice. And then here's a really cool arena that I ended up messing up, but it was okay. I had a backup um, in place. Because one of the upgrades is actually a bullet deflect. And so I can end up just reflecting all that guy's bullets back into his face and kill him instantaneously. So nicely done. But that's like a really tight timing. And then if I had gotten hit, that's one damage and I'm back down to one health. Uh, but here we go, if I make it to this door fast enough, uh, these guys won't end up shooting me in time, and I can make it through there. Nicely done. Uh, so upcoming here in this next section, right before we go into uh, the, the last boss fight of South, uh, I'm going to be going for a really difficult dash here. Really precise location, nice, and I get it. And that stops me from having to cycle all the way around to get access to this door. But here's Archer, and Archer is really scary, especially only on max health of 2. Alright, so I already took a damage, so we're gonna see- Oh no, they took a death! Oh yeah, I just barely- So she aims, and then you can move out of the way just barely in time. But that's okay, I took the save right at the start of the boss fight. Oh, alright. One more damage! No! Oh no. Oh, this is so easy to take a ton of deaths here. So I'm gonna focus down, I'm going to buckle up, and let's get this boss fight. Alright, come on, dude. Alright, I'm having to two, two cycle. I took a death. No, man. No. Oh my god. Alright. And this is like an aspect of, of this run, right? So you only have two health. Oh, I missed that. Alright. So I'm gonna be a little bit lower on ammo as she's gonna head back to the center. Alright, so close. No! I died right at the end! <laughs> oh my god, dude. I was one plink away from being able to kill her. Oh my god. Uh, so my goal here is to actually to get her uh, to rotate around uh, this side if I can. And keep her away from the middle. Oh man. Oh, this is so rough. Uh, the entire run like went so well up until this point. That's okay. That's okay. But this is like to be expected uh, from um, a category of, like New Game Plus. Alright, so I'm on one health. 
right? She's gonna go back. Yeah, so there I just decided to take a two cycle instead of the going for the one cycle. And that's okay. Like, in a marathon, like, that's the nice thing, is, like, you saw me struggling there, but I was just, like, trying to do really difficult stuff and get a fast one cycle kill on the boss. Uh, but because my- oh, I just took a death. Oh my god, I can't believe I just did that. So there I accidentally dashed off a ledge, right? But this is like New Game Plus, dude. This is like exactly why this category would be so crazy to, to like have to run. And I am absolutely more than capable of doing all of this stuff like super consistently. Oh man, that's so funny, dude. I can't believe I just got infinite by Archer. <laughs> oh, good. But yeah, here we go. So we're going to be collecting the final pylon of the run. This is going to unlock um, the, the final boss zone after we collect the final module in south. So one more to go. Uh, but the nice thing is that after Archer, the difficulty from the run just melts away. And all it is is this dash challenge, and I'm going to be heading right to the final boss. How exciting. All right, so here it is. So I'm just going to be pacing my dashes and going at really specific dash angles. Nice, and getting that first try is really, really good. But it's just like I'm like I've just been running this game for so long and put in like so much uh, time and work into the movement that like getting full chain dash sequences is just isn't too too bad anymore. Nice, nice, dude. Cool. Let's finish this out. This is good. This is good. Boom. So here we go, so there's going to be some cough cutscenes I'm going to end up trying to skip as I'm progressing to the final boss. Um, oh my goodness. Um, and that's going to be by like dashing at really specific spots. So as I'm coming down this elevator, this is probably going to be like the final spot of donation. And I'm just going to say I'm going to be doing, trying to like optimize my movement and my dashes in order to get to the final boss door as quickly as possible. And then boom, donations, donations, donations. Oh my goodness. Man, Archer, dude. Oh god, I'm gonna practice that so hard now. Yo, I got the first cough, cough skip, that's really good. Like, each one of those cough cutscenes is two seconds, so uh, getting one of those is really, really good. Oh. Oh, it's actually gonna come really close to the world record. This is gonna come so, so close. I think I'm like 20 or 30 seconds behind right now, maybe. Okay, I didn't get that one. Yeah, so there's the cough cutscene. Alright. Boom. Alright, here we go. It's the final boss uh, in the casual playthrough. This is well known for having lots of like blood elves and like entire screen sweeping giant lasers and stuff. That would instant kill me on this drifter. However, we're not going to see any of that because I'm going to end up just taking out this boss really, really fast. Alright, here we go. Ah, I missed the first one, so I'm gonna end up sword slashing there. Nice. And then killing the boss before he has a chance. And bringing all those guys in the corner. Like that. And here's the next one. Nice. And I got him really, really fast. Uh, let's just roll with it. Bless RNG. And we got him. Nicely done. Cool, not taking death on the final boss is really, really nice. Oh, this is going to be so close to Reki. I'm actually, I'll check the leaderboard to see if this is one. It's been a while since I've done a New Game Plus run. But it's just like the skills transfer over so well from New Game. And it's just like chain dashing in, in North is uh, a little bit different. So basically, like, whatever category, if one gets accepted, um, I'm just going to be, like, really comfortable with the movement and the routing. That's so cool. Nice. Major shoutouts also to Fur and Muncha for like setting the stage with Hyper Light Drifter performances in the past. They've both put on excellent runs. Um, but here, this is just the final walk sequence as we're coming down. And timing is going to be coming up when I place my hand over on the wall. Oh, yes. Wow. Thank goodness. Thank goodness I was able to get through New Game Plus. And time. 33.13. Let's see how close that is. Oh my god! That is so close! That's 30 seconds away from the world record. <laughs> yeah, so the, the record is currently held by me with a 32.45, so... I, if I hadn't gotten infinite at Archer there, that would have been a new recce. Unbelievable, man. What a run, dude. 
Oh, that's so great. Anyways, thanks so much for watching the submission. I hope you enjoyed it, and I look forward to hearing back of whether or not this gets accepted, and I'm just looking forward to the marathon as well. Thanks, guys.